Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first shot, my stash for the month of May. So this is actually the second week of May, uh, but these this is going to go up at the end of the week. So these will be the products I will have used for the week, uh, so the second full week of May. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I love doing these shot my stash videos because it really allows me to go through my collection and uh, get more use out of things that I maybe haven't used in a while. The prime example of this would be this palette. Uh, so this is the Tarte Tartlet palette, the original Tartlet palette, the one that came out before the Tartlet and Bloom, which I love. Um, <clears throat> I probably haven't used this palette. It might be a year, I wanna say maybe nine months to a year. Um, as you can see on the inside of the palette, it really doesn't have that much uh, use <laughs> or I haven't gotten that much use out of it. Um, you can still clearly see the Tarte imprint on all the shadows, except for Multitasker, which is this dark brown over here. Um, that has a nice indent in it because I use it uh, for liner, which is how I used it today. Um, <clears throat> but I actually really, really enjoy this palette. Um, it is an all matte palette. I do prefer the Tartland Bloom because it has some, uh, what do they call them, luster shades. Um, but this really has everything you could need to make a uh, pool and eye look together. I have been using a highlight on my inner corner so to sort of pop, uh, and a wait, pop, pop my eyes? That doesn't make sense. Um, sort of uh, brighten up my eyes and make them look a little bit more awake first thing in the morning. Um, so that is sort of how I've gotten some shimmer uh, into my eye look. But that is the palette that I have been using this week. For primer, I've been using the Pore Professional uh, by Benefit. Uh, it's a really great pore filling primer. I focus it mainly in my T-zone and use whatever is um, extra on the rest of my cheeks. I've also been using two other primers, but not as primers. <clears throat> so I've been using the Becca Backlight Film, uh, Backlight Priming Filter, as well as the First Light priming filter. However, I've been mixing them in with my foundation. Uh, so the foundation I've been using is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I have mine in the shade Alabaster, which I believe is the second shade in the range. <clears throat> um, this foundation is a perfect shade match for me right now. However, when I first picked it up in the winter, it was too dark. Um, but now that I have a little bit of self-tan going on, I use the Jergens Wet Skin uh, Moisturizer with the self-tanner in it. It's actually pretty cool. Um, I do mix it with another in shower body lotion or right after shower wet skin moisturizer so I'm not getting the full effect. There's a little bit mixed in there. But I have been using a, a pump of one of these um, at a time. I don't do both. And then um, about a dropper full of this uh, sort of liquidy serum foundation. Blending that together on the back of my hand and then applying it and blending out with a sponge and really have been enjoying the sort of glow that both of these give uh, to this foundation. Um, I have don't believe I've ever tried this one on its own as a primer. If I have, I've definitely used a, um, a pore filling primer on top or underneath it because I do have combination oily skin uh, and this just is not the best for that. Um, what it's great for in the winter time, I will say though. Um, but this I have used all over my face. Again, still do need a uh, primer, a pore filling primer to go uh, under it, but do really enjoy both of these mixed in with a foundation. So it's not, um, as glowy as like their shimmer, their, oh geez, the liquid version of their highlights. It gives just the right amount of glow for, <laughs> the right amount of work appropriate glow. Uh, I will say that, uh, but we'll have been loving those three things together. For eyeshadow primer, I've been using uh, this Urban Decay primer potion. It's the original one. Uh, I am working my way through this tube. It's been in my collection for a while, but it lasts ages because um, you really only need the smallest fit, but that is the eye primer I have, excuse me, been using. Let's see. So I've been using two different highlights so far this week. Actually, I might have been using three. I think on date, let's pull out the other one. <clears throat> on Monday, uh, I use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. Um, one of my all-time favorite YouTubers, uh, Liv from Liv Loves Her Makeup, um, raved about this in her most recent highlighters video. It was the um, Baked Gelee formulation of highlighters, and this was one of them. Uh, had to go out and buy it. I had a coupon uh, that doubled at my local grocery store, and that's where I found this bad boy. So I was able to pick it up for under $4. 
so definitely had to try it. Um, love, love, love this. It is a bit dark on my skin, um, but still gives a stunning, stunning glow. I'm actually intrigued to see how it looks next to the other, uh, one of the other highlights I've been using, which is the Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Again, this one is also too dark for my complexion. Still, I am wearing it today. Still gives a really nice glow. So that is Champagne Pop. Let's see what it looks like swatched next to Precious Petals. Okay, so Precious Petals is definitely more almost pinky peachy toned as opposed to the more goldy peachy toned that Champagne Pop is. The uh, other highlight that I've been using this week is this, so that's a lot of highlights, but again, I've been using them on the inner corners of my eyes also to give my eyes some dimension uh, using that matte palette. So this is the other highlight I've been using. This is Becca's Prismatic Amethyst, Prismatic Amethyst, uh, and I use this shade when I went with the uh, middle row of shades in the Tartlet palette, the more uh, mauvey, purpley toned ones. Okay, so those are the highlights I've been using to set my face. Basically, this is what I'm always going to use from now on because I'm obsessed with it. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I almost up and finished one of their um, the trial size, which retails, I believe, like $23. <clears throat> um, I got the Innisfor favorites and I wanted to save the rest for travel because it is the perfect travel size. Uh, so I definitely picked this up during the Sephora VIP sale and have been loving it. Perfect for setting my T-zone uh, as well as under my eyes. I really prefer using a sponge, actually a damp sponge, to set my T-zone um, and then just a uh, light, fluffy light fluffy brush to set under my eyes. Speaking of under my eyes for concealer, I've been using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is not as creamy as the name would suggest. Um, this is not one of my all-time favorite concealers. I definitely need to apply a very hydrating <clears throat> moisturizer or an oil under my eyes and sort of let that soak in before I apply this. Um, however, it does have really great coverage. Um, I will say that it does uh, crease up on me if I don't set it pretty darn quick though. All right, for blush. I think I've actually used another blush as well, uh, but this is the blush that I wore today. This is the Too Faced, Too, uh, Too Faced Love Flush blush in the shade Love Hangover. Again, this is what I'm wearing today. Uh, it stays on pretty nicely throughout today, throughout the day. Uh, I gotta slow down. Um, uh, let's see, I've had this on for about 12 hours now. Does it have a claim on the back? I wanna say. Long lasting 16 hour blush. Um, I used a very light hand this morning, but you can still see the color is still very much on my cheek. So that is the color that I used this morning. Oh geez, I think the other one that I used was this one. <clears throat> so on day one, um, when I, so on Monday, when I wore the more warmer toned row, which is the top one right here, looks like it's the bottom, but it's the top one in the actual palette. I went with a more warm toned blush. So of course I had to go with my Tarte Risqué obsessed with this. I do have a mini review on this blush with demos and swatches and all that good stuff uh, down below, but I am obsessed with this blush. The perfect sort of nude, but more warm tone nude sort of blush. Applies beautifully, super soft, lasts ages. Love, love, love that stuff. Why am I turning around? Everything else is up here, I think. Uh, so I think is this for brows? This video is all over the place, isn't it? Uh, so for brows, I've been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. I recently finished up <clears throat> the L'Oreal Perfect Brow or uh, Brow Stylist Pencil. Basically, it's the uh, L'Oreal version of the Brow Wiz in the shade Brunette. I finished that up, and the other Brow Wiz that I had was, or is, the shade Chocolate. Uh, so during the uh, 21 Days of Beauty Steals at Ulta, I picked up two additional shades, Dark Brown and Medium Brown. And I'm using medium brown this week. This is a much more cooler toned brown, which I really definitely enjoy in my uh, brows. For liner, I've been using the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner. Um, this is in the shade bl uh, brownish black. Um, I don't do wings. I don't do any of that. I have no skill <laughs> um, or ability uh, in the wing department. But I basically just go along my lash line with this. However, today, like I said, I did use that multitasker shade. Um, and really do enjoy that as a liner. For mascara, I've been using the Roller Lash. Uh, this is an, a, a very good mascara, definitely um, drying out though. I have had this open for a couple months now. I have done the 
um, <clears throat> eye drop trick, <laughs> a couple drops in here, at least twice now. So this may be on its way out, but that's fine because I've got lots of other full size backups of other products that I'm definitely excited to open. Uh, for bronzer, I've been using the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the shade Fair to Light. Uh, this is what this product looks like. I'm not really sure how I feel about, about this yet because to me it really does feel almost like an invisible product. But uh, when you apply it with a brush, maybe I'm just not using the right brush, but when you swatch it on your hand and then swatch it uh, next to sort of um, on the back of your hand, um, it does show up some colors or give off color. Uh, so it might just be that I have not found the right brush for it yet, but it really, like, I have it on today. Um, I don't know that um, it's going to be an all-time favorite for me just yet. Like I, get, I said, I might have to... Um, find a better brush or the right brush for this product. All right, last but not least, I think, I've been using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade uh, Ethereal Light. It's basically just their white or opalescent shade. Um, I've been using this to dust on my face after my makeup is completely finished, as well as to set my under eyes. Uh, so I actually just tried using it under my eyes today. Um, I don't remember if I set it with the Laura Mercier and then this or just this, um, but it definitely does uh, give a nice sort of brightness to the under eye area as well as set the product in without being super glittery. So those are the products that I am using on my face this week, uh, the second week of March. If you guys would ha uh, have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.